Welcome back, guys, to our playthrough of Pokemon Gold. So we have Flaffy on our team, Furret, Cyndaquil, Totodile, Togepi, you know, the usual. One open slot, not sure who's going to go there. Um, in the last episode, though, we went through the Ruins of Alf, we solved the puzzle, and then uh, caught ourselves an unknown. And now we are here outside Union Cave. So we have stuff to do. Um, I don't think there's anything else over here. Yeah, just a cave entrance. Is this a situation where we need Flash? It is not. All right, let's go around. I know that there's some interesting stuff in here. I don't think interesting Pokemon, though. Zubat probably is going to be our dominant focus of opponent in here. I'm not sure what else is in here, though. I uh, probably should have gone to the Pokemon Center. It was so close. Hopefully Cyndaquil will be all right. Aw, oh, you punk. I was going to grab that at him. Whoa, what a surprise. I didn't expect to see anyone here. I don't know why I did this voice for this particular character, but it just seemed right. Tiger Daniel wants a fight. Tiger Daniel sent out on eggs. Oh. Let's see how this goes. I have a feeling that Onyx might be doing some major damage to us. Yeah. What's the tackle damage? That's not bad. We can chip away a little bit. I have potions. It should be fine. I don't know if Cyndaquil holding a berry, though. Oh, that's good. Nice. Well done, buddy. A critical hit that didn't do that much damage, but took like a third of his health. There we go. I should be running down two health, probably. No, I don't want to risk it, because he went, he could probably knock me out with one more. There we go. We're back in good shape. Okay, yeah, four HP that time. All right, I'm worried that he might be able to do, like, a really powerful tackle and take out Cyndaquil, and I don't want that. I want the XP for Cyndaquil. Come on. One more should be able to do it. Oh, that's right. Bind got a new animation, too. Hmm... You got it, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Bind and wrap are such annoying moves. Yes. Well done. Big jump. That's what I'm talking about. Awesome. Cool. Hiker Daniel was defeated. Whoa, I'm beaten big time. What do we have for the item? Cool. Use one, find one. Ooh, a sand shrew. That's not bad. That might be worth having on the team for a little while. Yeah, I actually really like sand slash as, as a Pokemon, but I never really use it. Not for any reason other than there's just other options out there that I like more, but it's not bad. Let's go ahead and save that here. Hold on. Sanctuary's data to the Pokedex. All right, let's go ahead and pop him on the team here. I have other... I know what else I'm going to put in here when the time comes. He's a little bit too small. I know, because I don't know when we're going to get it. I think the next Pokemon I get will be in Goldenrod, so we'll just have Sandshrew here for the time being, and then I'll worry about who's going to take his place in a bit. If it fell from a great height, this Pokemon could save itself by rolling into a ball and bouncing. Okay, so Sandshrew on the team is just, I don't know, filling the spot. You're headed to Azalea, are you? Let my Pokemon see if you are good enough to battle. Okay, so Goldenrod's still a little ways away. Okay, Ember should be alright. We should be able to level up from this too. should be able to do it. Ah, 
Too bad. What else is he gonna shoot it again? Same level. Let's go ahead and use a potion real fast just to be on the safe side. There we go. Cool. Oops, I messed up. I didn't realize I did it. I renamed that century thing. There we go. I should fix that. Nope. Damn it. Hold on, hold on. I do this live, which is probably not like the wisest thing, but there we go. Okay. I don't like doing edits like in post. I always try to get my stuff right the first time. Doesn't always happen, but I always like to do it like when I'm in the video. If you ever see jump cuts or like any sort of like editing or fades or like transitions just know i hate doing that it is not something that that i do lightly every time i do it i'm like Ugh. which is why sometimes when i'm doing like sort of a monologue that seems rehearsed or like it's a lengthy one it's probably because i have rehearsed cursed it and i like didn't like the take so i had to do it from the very beginning in fact though well when it comes to playthroughs and stuff like that i generally don't do any sort of rehearsing let me phrase that i don't do any scripts like i don't write stuff down like the, when you see me looking around and stuff i'm not looking at a screen that has text on it i never do that i don't like doing that so i typically write something mentally or come up with something mentally i should say remove the word right come up with something mentally rehearse it in my head and then do about you know ever however many takes i feel are necessary until i can get it right the only time i ever really do that though is when i'm doing things for like short videos or extensive how-tos like that episode it's technically the third episode in the play no nope, we're not gonna evolve the third episode in the playthrough um where i was doing a breakdown of like how to get all three starters that video i shot that it took me about two hours just to do the first like 30 seconds because after that i was like i was comfortable and i was able to kind of provide instructions but the very first bit how i wanted to word it and, in, and like introduce the concept and whatever very frustrating I screwed up so many times. So that supersonic keeps confusing my Pokemon. I'm seriously upset by that. I feel you. Oh, fire breather, huh? I'm surprised as a fire breather, he like doesn't have any fire Pokemon. Well, he might, I shouldn't say that. I really love how Ember looks in this game. I know Ember is also sort of like, it's kind of a weak move. Like it's its equivalent of like water gun, right? But it's kind of a, a it's kind of a great move at the same time. Like I don't actually want to get rid of it. I always hesitate when I'm getting rid of things like water gun because I really like that move. But there are just better water moves out there. And sometimes the Pokemon can learn an ice move as well. Like a, a TM, if it's not like part ice. And if I do throw an ice move like Blizzard or Ice Beam onto a water type Pokemon, Water Gun is probably the move that's going to go. Ember I won't get rid of because most of the time fire type Pokemon, at least in the first gen, don't learn a lot of fire moves. I don't even think my Pokemon learned Flamethrower because they weren't a high enough level. It's like level 48 or like something like that. And I just don't, I just don't want to deal with that, you know? God, Cinequil looks so good. Like I don't want to, I don't want to level up all the way. And I don't have to. Because I think I was even able to beat the Elite Four in Gen 1, specifically Blue and Yellow, way early, like way before I needed to actually level up to get Flamethrower. So I think they only learned Ember, and there was no other moves except for Fire Blast as a TM, which was something we got, you know, from uh, Blaine in Gym 7 on Cinnabar, which is kind of frustrating. In Gen 1, I knew where a lot of these, like, hidden items were, but in Gen 2, it's a little bit harder to find them. We're okay for now.
Ghost Hand Through. Sam Slot has a really great shiny. I actually featured that in my uh, 10 shiny Pokemon you need to go after for shiny red Pokemon. Sam Slash is a really cool one. Isn't Union Cave also where Lapras is at? I think one of these water pool areas leads to it. Oh, there's Rattata in here. I was actually really bummed. I So I had mentioned before that I was thinking about the team that I wanted to have. If it's light, a cave isn't scary. If you're strong, Pokemon aren't scary. Okay. Um, I was thinking about Pokemon that I wanted to have, and the Fire-type Pokemon that I wanted to replace Cyndaquil with is Houndour, because I want to get a Houndoom as a dual-type Fire and Dark. But it's going to take so freaking long to get it. I didn't realize, but it's going to take me forever, dude. I'm not... Oh, he has Fire-types. Okay. Kind of disappointed in that, honestly. Attack. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Oh, not bad. Holy! All right. Take me out here, otherwise you're going down. Huh? Not as many points as I thought. Sorry, Ray. There we go. Oh! If you're not a shiny Pokemon, get out of my way. Alright, we should be in Azalea any moment now, and I should be able to heal up. Round 33. Funk. Grab the berry. Cool. Go to my packs. I should have some normal berries that I should give. I guess that's a use, huh? Okay. Oh, it's a trainer. I came through the tunnel, but I still have plenty of energy left. I didn't realize that he was a trainer. I thought he was a wanderer. Hiker Anthony wants to battle. Chio dude. Oh, he's a tough one. He's gonna do some damage to me if I don't watch out. Ooh. Yeah. Sorry, dude. I didn't realize that he was gonna use a move like that. That should be a one-hit KO. Nice. Big gains, too. We haven't seen Machop yet, have we? That's not a bad sprite. damaging. What else do we have here? Rage isn't gonna... Does Rage do much? It's a normal move. Ah, not much. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Oh! Oh, the berry. I was like, does Rage heal you? I was like, what? I just don't remember seeing that. Thank you, Barry. Level up. Nice. Well done. Team is growing. Alright, what else we got around here? Some headbuttable trees along the way. Oh, this song. I love this thing. Oh, rocket member. It's unsafe to go in there, so I'm standing guard. Aren't I a good Samaritan? Yeah, 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 I guess.
guess so. This is Slowpoke Cave, right? Slowpoke Well. Locals believe that a Slowpoke's yawn summons rain. Records show that a Slowpoke's yawn ended a drought 400 years ago. Let's heal up first thing. I feel bad that Cynical went down. I love that so much. Good evening, you're out late. I love that. So one of my favorite things about this game is the night and day cycle and how people react to that, especially going to the Pokemon Center. Oh, you're out late. That's really cool. Do you know about apricorns? Crack one open, hollow it out, and fit it with a special device. Then you can catch Pokemon with it. Before Pokeballs were invented, everyone used apricorns. Yep, which is really cool that we got to do that in Legends Arceus, which is neat. Bill's PC can store up to 20 Pokemon per box. Good to know. Do your Pokemon know HM moves? Those moves can be used even if your Pokemon has fainted. <laughs> imagine teaching a Pokemon a move and they fainted. Like, imagine you teach Surf to a water type that's knocked out. All right, dude. All right, Squirtle. All right, Blastoise, whatever. Time to get up. Uh, I've been beaten up so bad by, by Pokemon battles. That's all right. We're going to Surf on you now, and he's all like surfing in the water. You're just like riding him, and he's all... <laughs> <laughs> unconscious, floating on like a practically near dead Pokemon. <laughs> That's funny. Slowpoke have disappeared from town. I heard their tails are being sold somewhere. Disgust. All right, let's buy some items. I need to do that. Welcome. How may I help you? Buy charcoal fire type move. That's cool. That they sell that here, but it's not going to help me much right now. Balls. That's fine. I think I'll be okay with that more. Yeah. I just want to have a whole bunch just in case I see something I like. Let's sell, actually, let's sell a couple things. I probably have some stuff I can get rid of. <sighs> 50 bucks? No. Great Ball is better for catching Pokemon than a Pokeball. But Kurtz might be better sometimes. Hmm. There's no Great Ball here. Pokeballs will have to do. I wish Kurt would make me some of his custom balls. That's right. All right, what do we got? Charcoal Kiln. The heck is a Charcoal Kiln? All the Slowpoke have disappeared from the town. The forest protector may be angry with us. Maybe a bad omen. We should stay in. Where have all the slowpoke gone? Are they out playing somewhere? Nah, dude, they're being harvested. <laughs> Did you come to get Kurt to make some balls? A lot of people do just that. So we have the gym. Is there anything special about that right now? Cut through Azalea and you'll be in Ilex Forest. But these skinny trees make it impossible to get through. Charcoal Man's Pokemon can cut down trees. Ah. Alex Forest enters through the gate. Okay, I'll worry about that later. This must be Kurt. Hmm? Who are you? Mark, eh? You want me to make some balls? Sorry, but that'll have to wait. Do you know Team Rocket? Ah, uh, don't worry. I'll tell you anyhow. Team Rocket's an evil gang that uses Pokemon for their dirty work. They're supposed to have disbanded three years ago. Anyway, they're at the well cutting off Slowpoke tails for sale. So I'm going to go give them a lesson in pain. Hang on, Slowpoke! Old Kurt is on his way! Oh god, this idiot. Hey, it's White Apricorn. Ugh, this fool. Alright, let's go ahead and pop down in. We got time. I don't want to do short videos. I think we could probably go in and take care of Team Croquet. Let's go ahead and go down here. Hey there, Mark. The guards up top took off when I shouted at them. But then I took a tumble down the well. I slammed down hard on my back, so I can't move. Rats, if I were fit, my Pokemon would have punished them. Ah, it can't be helped. 
Mark, show them how gutsy you are in my place. I don't know how big this place is, actually, so we're just gonna have to wing it and see. Who do we have on the team that I want to give a little more attention to? I kind of want Flappy to level up. <sighs> this is going to be kind of tough. I want Flappy to level up because I really want to get an Ampharos. Darn, I was standing guard up top when some old coot yelled at me. He startled me so much that I fell down here. I think I'll vent my anger by taking it out on you. Like the rocket sprite looks good uh, level nines nice well done flap Probably didn't need to use another th a thunder shock there, but nice. This is not my day. Oh, oh. Ooh, a lady rocket. Stop taking tails. Yeah, just try to defeat all of us. I'm glad they brought in some, uh, what is it? Some inclusion here. The lady, the lady rockets are dope. Oh, bad choice for Zubat. You are in a rough way, friend. Should be a one-hit KO. Stab move, baby! some attention to uh cynical because i think what the next gym is is it the bug one i think i can't remember what this badge is is it the like that bug badge i can't remember nice you rotten brat yeah put you down girl give me your number super posh taking slowpoke tails if we obeyed you team rocket's rep would be ruined god i miss team rocket ah oh, they were so much more interesting than the other teams well done Cynical is probably at a high enough level that he can take out Bugsy. Bugsy, Bugsy, whatever the bug guy is. Strong is right. Slowpoke with his tail cut off. Huh? It has mail. Interesting. Mark read the mail. Be good and look after the house with Grandpa and Slowpoke. Love, Dad. That's a really freaking sad. Oh, there's more that we can do with strength. Slowpoke with his tail cut off. What do you want? If you interrupt our work, don't expect any mercy. Tough one, eh? 
I know coughing isn't a flying type, but it is a floating, levitating ball. Well, I guess he uses gas rather than some sort of wingspan thing, I suppose, but still. It's weird that Mareep and Flaffy are both sheep and then Ampharos turns into, isn't he like dual type as a dragon or is that just his mega evolution? Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Well done. Sweet guys. You did okay today, Brat, but wait till next time. Yeah, Team Rocket was broken up three years ago, but we continued our activities underground. Now you can have fun watching us stir up trouble. Way to go, Mark. Team Rocket has taken off. My back's better too. Let's get out of here. Hi, Mark. You handled yourself like a real hero at the well. I like your style. I would be honored to make balls for a trainer like you. This is all I have now, but take it. Sewer ball. I make balls from apricorns. Collect them from trees and bring them to me. I'll make balls out of them. You have an apricorn for me? Fine, I'll turn it into a ball. I don't know what that turns into, though. It'll take a day to make you a ball. Come back for it later. All right, cool. All right, friends, let's go ahead and heal up and call that a wrap. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Pokemon Gold. We'll continue with more of that tomorrow. If you enjoyed the video, show your love. Hit that like button. Do not forget to subscribe. Any feedback for me, leave in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, don't forget to take a look at the description box. There's some links there that might be of interest to you, one of which is a link to the Mark9 Community Discord server. If you want to be part of that group, you can chat with me directly. There's also a link to geekoutpost.com, an entertainment media blog I own, operate, run, manage, design, and write for. It's a great place to stay up to date on the latest entertainment and gaming news, reviews, and rumors if you're into that kind of thing. Otherwise, just know I appreciate you and your time, and hope to see you when we continue with more of our playthrough of Pokemon Gold. Alright guys, that's it for me. Take care, be well. I'll see you later.